What's up everybody? Okay, so we are going to learn how to use the Live Link uh, Dash to Unreal Engine. So just go ahead and load up any character you want. Make sure it's uh, 8.1 to begin with, okay? Because 8.1 has the Arc Kit. Uh, I didn't find the Arc Kit for 8 or 9 yet, so I, I'm doing it with 8.1. Once you export that Arc Kit, then you can use... Uh, the blend shapes and stuff okay so uh i've taken an 8.1 character here because i know it works uh Stooja, one of raw raw arts characters and i'm just gonna leave it as normal remember like when you import characters into unreal engine you should always export them as completely uh no poses nothing just the way they come in okay no clothes no hair nothing because those you would always export later and you can start changing hairstyles or whatever if you want a set character that you're never going to change then fine you can dress them up do whatever you want with them uh but i still wouldn't add the poses the poses you can always add later right uh, i've actually got that in a different tutorial uh, that you uh, teaches you how Ari, to put different poses on them all right anyway i got my character i'm going to select my character i want to go to file same to DAS to Unreal, right? So from DAS, you can down, uh, install the bridge, download the bridge, and install the Unreal DAS to Unreal bridge. Once you've installed it, you'll get this, right? You click that, and you'll get this little thingy, my Bobby, right? It gives you the name of the character, skeleton morphs. Yes, this will not be ticked. Export morphs. You want to tick that, and you want to choose morphs, and you won't have any of this stuff there. You won't have any of that stuff there, mate. So we're going to just delete it for now. And all you really got to do is go down your Archie Genesis 8.1 and add those. Okay. Once, once you've done that, mate, you can just say accept. Uh, in advanced, if you haven't set up the plugin for Unreal Engine, you can just do it right here. Okay. You can say select version 5.2 and install plugin. Okay. And once you've done that, you're going to just accept and you need unreal running in the background and once unreal is running in the background you can just say accept boom and it'll start exporting everything for ya right me it's going to export everything for you so i will got to put a i got i got to push pause right here uh and when it when it returns we'll come back Right, when it's done, it's going to say uh, confirmation that it's exported and it's going to go through to Unreal's engines, so engines, and from there, it's just going to be importing all the stuff from there. Okay, let it import, and it's pretty damn quick. It's pretty damn quick. Right, once it, it, it exports, it'll open up this uh, blueprint for you. Uh, you'll get this opened up already, right there, and in your content browser it'll it'll have all these things set up for you okay the first thing you want to do is save save all bam i'm saving it all these are the textures and everything i'm going to save it all and i'll be back okay first thing you're going to do when it imports is you're going to save it all out okay just say uh save all in your content browser right here just hit save all and let all the assets save out because if it crashes you're going to lose everything and you got to import them all over again Okay, once that's saved, it'll open up in your content browser and it'll give you uh, the things that it's saved out, okay? If you don't see that, you can just go to Windows and Content Browser and open that up. And once you open that up, you can just go up here to All Content and Dash to Unreal and Sterigia. I've imported a good couple of characters, but here he is. There's a folder, Sterigia, whatever it is. And there it is, okay? I'm going to close this blueprint for now. Now I've imported other characters, so it takes the first character and converts that into your main blueprint. Uh, when you install the plugin into Daz, right, you can see the stuff that it puts in there by going into uh, set settings and no, not there. Sorry, here <laughs> in your content browser, the settings here. And you can say uh, show engine content, show plugin content. Put those two on. And then if you go here, you see you don't just have content, you've got engine two. If you open that and you go into plugins uh, and you scroll down, you will get to DAS, 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 DAS to Unreal content right here. Okay. And this is what the plugin installs. It, it sets up all the shaders and everything for you. And if you go into animation, here is your main blueprint okay uh we're gonna deal with that now so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to windows you're gonna go to 
uh, virtual production and you're going to say live link okay open that up switch on your iphone and open up uh, live link face you can download live link face for free and uh, whatever it okay then get your IP of your computer so you can type IP config in your uh, CMD and you can get your IV4 IP for Viva whatever the hell your IP address you can get it there and then you got to put it into your app okay you hit the little icon the settings icon on your phone app uh, in inside of live link and then you click uh, streaming live link and you click there and you put that exact IP address in now both your computer and your phone have to be running on the same Wi-Fi network so if you're running any VPNs or whatever you got to switch them off switch off your VPNs or whatever make sure you're on the same network and make sure that you got the same IP config and then this will pop up iPhone Okay, and it'll give you a little green dot, which means it's working. Right, the next thing you got to do is go into your, uh, remember we went into plugins and data and real content. Uh, when, you, when you view the engine crap here, engine content, show plugins content, and inside of data and real content under animation, you get this art kit example, right? You got to double click that, and you got to make sure that live link subject is on iPhone. Okay, you'll see live link subject, click on that, scroll all the way down. So in here, let's try and open this up a bit just to make sure that you get it good. Um, you'll see that you get event graph off kit. You'll see animation graph here. You don't want to be in the animation graph. You want to be in the event graph. And when you go all the way to the start, uh, start of it, you'll see live link. Click on that, scroll all the way down in details and default value live link subject iphone okay make sure that's on okay you can compile that and you can save it and you can get out of that we do not have to go back there again okay. Okay. so we've got the live link running and we have the uh genesis arc kit example running right so now what we want to do what we want to do is we want to grab our character Where's our character? <clears throat> we're going to go here. We're going to go to content again. And we're going to go to Daz, 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 Lightyear to the rescue. Are Daz. Where is it? Daz to Unreal. And we're going to open up Sturridge here, which is the one we imported. And we can just drag and drop the skeletal mesh inside of here, okay? So there he is. Right. The next thing we want to do. Oh, now that we got that working and all that stuff is we just go to go into him raw ear mate raw ear and we're going to click on him right go to his details here if you don't see details go to windows details right here and once we got the details uh we can just go down to animation animation mode use animation blueprint yes animation class we want to type arc here we want this Genesis Arc 8.1 Arc Kit example. Okay, so just type Arc. And you can select it and straight away you can see a little bit of the face <laughs> moved. Okay, it does some strange shear. It does some strange shear. And the last thing that we want to do is in that same thing up here, but when it says Sturger Details, first thing here where it says Add, just add a live link. Live link. There we go. A live link skeletal animation. Okay. Boom. And once you've got that working, it should all be working fine. Just fine. Hey. I don't know why the tongue's sticking out. Uh, but the rest seems to be working just fine. Hello. Now, live link for me sucks. I, I think this... This live link thing sucks, donkey balls, because it's <laughs> it's crap animation. Hey, hey, Ari, Ari, look at my tongue. My tongue doesn't go in. Uh, okay, the reason this tongue is doing this is because it's a custom character. There, there, there must be ways of getting rid of it, but uh, you know, if you use a different character. 
that doesn't work properly. But if we use a different character, let's see, I've got a different character here. I've got, uh, I've got, I've got a couple of characters here, mate. I've got Naomi, I've got Stinger, I've got, uh, let's try Ensley. No, let's try Billy. Right, let's chuck Billy in here. And let's see if Billy works. So, same thing, you can, you can import as many characters as you want. I can go to Billy here. I can say use animation blueprint. I can say Arc uh, Gen Genesis Arc Kit example right here. Boom. She changes automatically or swiftly. And all I'm going to do is add a live link in here because we've already set up the blueprint. That animation blueprint controls all of them, right? So we're good to go. And uh, yeah, there we go. Her eyes are squint. <laughs> Hello. Mmm, Ari. Is that you, Ari? I cannot say because of my eyes, Ari. My eyes am blind. I'm blind, Ari. What's wrong with my eyes? Uh, uh, so, you, you, uh, you can see the results aren't great. <laughs> but, I mean, if, you, if you're messing around. Uh, oh, okay. I see that. The eyes are all wonky because it's on different axes. So that's another. That's another. Let me just mm, get a face here. Okay, save. That's a neutral face. That's my neutral face. I've recorded my neutral face. Hello, Harry. Is everything alright? Why is there two of you, Harry? I don't know. <laughs> Why is there two of you, Harry? Hey, so that's that's it i mean you could just bring in as many characters as you want now let's see who, who else i got i got iomi and you can shove her in there too and let's have a look at naomi remember it's the same thing man you just say uh arc kit arc kit and you got the genesis 9 arc kit example and you say add and you say live link Live link skeletal mesh. And from there, Harry, from there, everything should be working. But this bastard doesn't. This can bastard doesn't, Harry. Why isn't this son of a bitch working? Let me look at the animation blueprint. Ah, there's a compile error. All right, there's a compile error. If you get a compile error, it's because of your control rig. Just open up in the normal way you imported the DAS. Uh, if you get a, there's your animation blueprint for this character. Uh, and this you can find under content, uh, Das to Unreal, and that's where you get your character, right? So I imported Iom, Iomwine, whatever, and I double click her animation blueprint. She's, she doesn't have one, she doesn't have a control rig. So what I could do is I could just use one of the other ones. I can go to control rig class and I could say Billy. Billy, and there it is. So I can use Billy JCM control rig. You can use anyone else's control rig. It's totally fine. Compile and save that. And oh, it'll probably have a squiff eyes in, won't it? That's working. That's working, but it's got the squiff eyes. Maybe if we use a different control rig here, let's try uh, Billy. Uh, let's try G9. Uh, let's try. Genesis Genesis 8 control rig. Let's try this one, okay? Compile. That seems fine. So we're just changing out the control rigs of different characters, that's all. And it still works. The eyes are a bit better. Hello. Hello, big boy. Mm. So that's it, man. And we've got all three, all three, mate, just going m mental crazy there, mate. Hey, hello, hello, hello. Now, you can also do the heads and stuff. Uh, where is that? I think that might be in the actual uh, blueprint. Okay, so in order to get the head rotation working, you, all you need to go is into the Genesis 8.1 Arcade example, the one found over... Uh, um, um, here, remember in the engine content, DAS to Unreal content, and we went into animation, 
over here. This is what you install with the plugin and then Genesis 8.1, that blueprint again. And all you do is using, using local rotations, you switch that off. Okay, that's all you got to do. And on your actual app, on your actual app under settings on your phone, you go to head rotation, which is uh, just hit the little uh, settings thing. And then three down, you'll see head rotation. Turn that on, turn that on and you can start getting uh, head rotations. But it looks like, oh, okay, okay, yeah. What up? What up? Bah! <laughs> okay, anyway, I hope this helps. Um, let me know if you got any questions. Now, in order to fix the eyes and stuff, you can go into the blueprints and you can start modifying all these kind of things. Uh, so for a more advanced lesson, we will get into that. But for now, uh, this is just a quick, uh, dirty way of getting you up and running. Ah! Up and running, Ari. Ari, at least you get up and running playing with this pile of shite, this lifeling crap. <laughs> a lot of you wanted this tutorial. I hope it helps. Uh, this personally would not be the way I animate. Um... But, uh, you know, for some quick and dirty animation, it's, it's fine. My God, you'd have to clean this up a hell of a lot. Uh, anyway, hope this helps, and have a good day, and speak to you guys later. Bye, guys.